How are we doing, guys? <sighs> Knackered, ain't gonna lie. Absolutely shagger baggered. Right. Message has been shopping to the local <clears throat> store down the road. Home bargains. Right, she's gone and got me some of those delicious beers again that we can always buy from that superstore. Is it, oh, whatever it's called. The uh, Wilco replacement store, because obviously they didn't upgrade to um, follow whatever in life. Right, she's bought me some beers. And you know what? You know where they're coming from, don't you? They're coming from some shit brewery up in somewhere in Scotland. Although this one isn't one of those. It's cucumber ale. Cucumber blessing. Although she did buy me that well, one. Um, and that one. Uh, uh, why? Why is she trying to get me to divorce her or something? I mean, come on, what's going on? Anyway, 75p this cost apparently. She couldn't resist it. She thought it was a, as I would say, a, a bargain. Okay then, so let's have a look. On a serious note, on a, well, I'm taking a piss. I, all my videos are always taking a piss. I never edit anything and I never will. But anyway, so it's a, it's a called a Cucumber Blessing. Seasonal release, Millhouse Brewing Co. I have no idea where these are from. And you know what? It is so... The, the writing on the side is so bloody blurred. Or it's my eyesight, I can't tell. I couldn't even tell you where it's from. Inspi uh, so I've got a little bit more here. Inspired by the Buddhist ceremony, cucumber blessing is one way to help you. Boring, boring, boring. Fruit, cucumber. I didn't realise cucumber was even a fruit. Hops, liberty. I haven't that for a while. Malt, two row. Six Road Pilsner, the Art of Science and Beer. Right, Liberty Hot had to just pause it just quickly to have a look. I thought they'd be more of a citrusy thing, but there's a bit of a lemon. According to this, they're from the USA, flavour intensity six out of ten, so not too bad. Uh, without looking at my book, there you have an alpha racist range, about three to five percent. This should have about one to two percent. It's just 75p for a can of bloody beer. Come on, it can't be that great. Shall we open it? Right, I can well imagine it's going to be quite pale. It'll probably look like something along the colour of this sponge. Or that bag in the background. I can't imagine it being much more. Um, oh, what's the five point two percent? Which I'm really surprised at. I thought it'd be like really low alcohol. Okay. Okay. Now that's not what I was expecting. Seventy-five p. Seventy-five p. Can of beer. What does seventy-five p. Look like? Let's get. Oh, oh I can't see because I'm blinding myself. Hang on, I need to put one down. And pick the other one up. It looks like one of those bottles that you see on the side of the motorway, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. It's not exactly uh, appealing. Get it? Appealing. Right. On a serious note, though, come on. I'm, I'm going to stop taking a piss. Right. Okay. So, to look at it. Carbonation is really good. Um, it's got one finger head. Um... <clears throat> It's kind of got like a, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a bit of a dry throat. 
a golden straw colour to it. Aroma wise, there is a slight maltness to it, but not too much on the nose. A little bit of a fruity note going on there, like a ooh, why, why is it fruity? It's almost like a yeah, yeah, quite fruity, but not too much. Should go for the taste. Well, that's a bit. It's uh, a bit strange. In when you uh, do your sandwiches in the morning, and your cheese, your lettuce, your tomato, and then your cucumber. Every morning you chop a bit, chop it all up into pieces. And every morning, there's always one the bit you'll pi you'll pinch. A bit of tomato, a bit of cheese, a bit of cucumber. It actually tastes like flipping cucumber. I'm really surprised. And it's actually quite refreshing. Um, for, I was going to be absolutely thinking, I'm going to, this, I was actually thinking, right, I found a worse beer than this bloody shot, shite that these lot sell, these green canic bollocks. And I'm actually surprised. I mean, it's not, not, by any means, it's not a great beer. I've got gas. <coughs> But it's actually really pleasant to, pre pleasant to drink. So I've got a bit of a bucked up nose. It's not I'm knackered. I've got a bit of man flu going on. Um, but yeah, it's really pleasant to drink. And I'm thinking to myself, well, this is really, this is quite a really summery type drink to go at. Quite well, nicely carbonated. I've got really good lacing. Um, I can't smell a lot. I think I'm still suffering from COVID, to be honest. Oh, no, nah, I'm knackered. I know that. I think it's because about soaking wet football. Probably something to do with that. Oh my God, today's game was dreadful. I'm knee deep in bloody mud. Anyway, so it's like, what, four o'clock Saturday afternoon. And there's fireworks going on in the background as well. I mean, why are people in the fireworks at that time of night? But, right, let's get back to the... Um, I'm derailing from my uh, boring whatever it is. Right, so in a in a nutshell, to look at it, it looks really like a really nice glass of piss, but it's actually not too bad. The aroma's coming through a little bit now. A little bit of a herbal thing going on there. Slight spicy notes. When you take a mouthful, you are getting the cucumber. I don't know if you've actually put cucumber in it. I can't read the, because it's so tiny and it's nothing to do with my eyesight. But I'm assuming what that is. Just says fruit, cucumber, so I'm assuming they have got cucumber in it. And to be honest, it works quite well. And I tell you what, if they was to put some citrus in this, along with the cucumber, I think they'd both work really well together. My opinion doesn't mean it's correct, but citrus, East Kent Goldens maybe, along with this, we go pretty good. I think they go quite well. Um, if I was, oh, I can't have it now. <clears throat> if I was sat in a uh, beer garden in the middle of the summer, I want a nice, light, and refreshing drink. Yeah, this go, this go well. But the fact that it says it's five point, how many? Five point two percent. Now that's the bad. That's the problem. Because when you drink it, it doesn't come across as 5.2%. It comes across as like something a lot lower. So if this is what it is, and you're drinking it, especially in the morning, it needs to be a, little more, a lot more chill than I'm drinking it at. It's going to get you in trouble because you can have four or five, six of these, thinking you're having your bloody salad um, with your cucumber in it. And 
know where you're going to go, don't you? <whistles> Get a bit, a bit wibbly wobbly on the old legs. <clears throat> um, so yeah, actually, I'm I'm quite enjoying this. Um, 75p. Yeah, it's fine. It's um, it's not the greatest. It's not the worst. Better than them ones there. Um, it makes you wonder how they can sell it for 75p and how much did they buy it for and how much did it cost the brewery to make. So to get what they've got to a reasonable, reasonably acceptable standard, it's not a great beer, it's not the worst beer. How have they managed to sell it to Home Bargains? Who sell it now for seventy five p? Who's making money? How can this is just doesn't this does not look like a beer that will ever make money from not only the supermarket but also not for the brewer? I mean, is, is this a craft beer? Is it? I don't know. It's it's like oh my brain's going a bit. What the fucking hell's going on with this? Um. It brings me to like when you look at craft beers, it's like four or five pound, three, four pound a can, and I'm thinking I can't afford it. Four cans of twelve quid. That's why I brew my own, and and you get stuff like this at seventy five p. It's acceptable, but it's not acceptable because it's in the shops at that price, and it's cost more to brew it. Surely it's cost more to brew this than this shit. That's yeah, going to be shit. I know. I would be surprised if this ain't no good. If it's any good. And how does this arrive on a shelf in a metal can with all the label on it? Reasonably take, reasonably acceptable. How does this get onto the shelf for that price in a superstore from a brewer? How? I don't know. Come on. Anyway, out of 10, I'm going to give it a seven. I could actually drink this in the, in the summer, really chilled down. It's a cross between like a cocktail -y type, cidery, one of those corgally things, which I can't stand. But it's like a lager and lime at the same time. And I looked at it when my missus said to me, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I was like, oh, you really bought me that with this shit? And I thought it'd be worse than these. I haven't had them yet, so. Hey, go up there and try the cucumber lager. Is it a lager? Cucumber ale. So I serve at temperature between three, three and six degrees. See, I've done it at room temperature. So that's that's like I say, at lower temperature, I think it'll be I think it'll be really good. Because cu everybody has cucumber at the fridge in the morning, it's always like, yeah, yeah, a bit more sandwiches, wraps, blah blah blah. I think it might be alright in the summer. I reckon if they was to put some black currant in this, as a not black currant cordial. Current blackberries, come it's a bit too uh, blackberries to give it a little bit of a twist. I reckon it go bang on, you know. Anyway, that's me rambling about shit, and you lot look at me thinking, What the fuck are you talking about, you knobhead? Anyway, listen, like and subscribe, please, because you're not doing it enough. Ten years we're doing this now. Come on, I need to get to a thousand because my wife's like. If I didn't do it before my wedding anniversary, I've got to close my channel. So I've got to do July. Come on. Sort it out. Catch you later.